In all countries of the world, and particularly in Haiti, agricultural produce such as this cassava needs to be processed and preserved. Unfortunately, traditional means are often slow and difficult. In certain regions of Haiti, people have even had to give up preparing cassava because it is no longer profitable and requires too much effort. But the situation is changing with the arrival of small machines. The hand grinder, for example, grinds up manioc roots and other crops thanks to a revolving spool driven by a handle. It allows for faster work, grating up to 500 roots an hour. Before, this task would have taken at least one day's work. A motorized grinder can also be used to process roots. More sophisticated, it can be worked by a single person. Buying a machine like this requires a big investment. But by sharing costs with neighbors or the community, everyone can benefit. This is what these inhabitants of Compera in Haiti have done. Besides, it is easier to carry out repairs when there are many people to cover costs. A cylinder press for manioc, just like these other small machines, is made in Haiti in the Comte Perrin workshop. The press extracts the cyanhydric acid and juice from the ground manioc. The dry flour can then be put into bags and sold to make cassava. Other products, such as corn, can also be processed with simple and easy-to-use machines. The tin plate mill is one such machine, which is popular, cheap and simple to use. Frank Eliassin has bought three mills. With these, he and his wife produce a cassan for the whole neighbourhood. The corn has to be ground twice to make it. Everyone benefits from these small machines, particularly children who love this well-known and nutritious dish. <laughs> Peanuts are much in demand in Haiti and can also be made into butter or mamba thanks to a machine. More powerful machines are often necessary, especially for dry products. These machines are made and sold in workshops, like the training workshops at Comperin.
fully equipped machines are sold here, but also spare parts, which one person alone or several, like these two young men, Dino and Juno, can assemble. They have understood that when there is trust, one can learn by working with professionals and by asking their advice. To construct safer houses, other tools are needed. The brick mould, for example, is an indispensable tool to make concrete blocks. Moulds can also be made from recycled or scrap metal. To do this, all you need is welding material, as here in Ewald's workshop, where a group of young people are making different types of moulds with the master craftsman. The master craftsman insists on protection for the eyes during welding. The craftsmen enjoy creating different shapes and decorations for their products. You can be both practical and creative at the same time. And the products they make are essential for the work of others. <laughs> 